Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. You know it. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I tried. I tried. Yesterday, I gave it a sincere effort to, to do a positive story, to bring joy and happiness to everybody. Um, there's, I th It's my, my belief that there's just as many, maybe more, positive stories out there if we look for them. The negative stories, but the negative ones are the ones that really affect me physically and emotionally, mentally. I, 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 this story is one of the stories that gets my adrenaline pumping. I can feel my heart pumping. Um, my hands get numb as I'm going through. I, sometimes my hands almost start, 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 I get so angry. My hands start shaking as I'm going through the phone or I'm on the computer and I start hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. Uh, is this story is about Chris Robbins a from weathernet a weatherman i believe this is in florida i think weathernet is in georgia i'm trying to figure out this story i believe this story went from facebook to instagram to twitter somewhere in in that there or somewhere thereof i'll have all the links down below the best story the best representation of the story is from your tango that's going to be the link right on top down below so you get you get the whole gist of the story and then i'll have other links down below that okay he's a weatherman in florida and this just sums up idea i've done videos about conservative men and being scared of women and being scared in general i talk about well, I, I don't understand it's not you know i i mistook anger a lot of times they say anger is really fear and it, it is um, okay, so this is Chris Robbins, and I believe it was on his Facebook post, on his, on his, on his job, on his weather net. He, he, had a, he used his actual job social media to post a threat. Uh, I don't know if he's still working. Um, okay, so he talks about a little girl, doesn't give the age, I don't think, looking for her lost cat. He says, a uh, little, uh, little girl just rang my doorbell. And he says, you can't do this in 223. And his exact words were something along the line of, uh, I had my six ready. And uh, parents, don't do this. You know, don't, it's, this is 2023. Okay, let, let's, this is, this is his first post. So he's saying he's, his six was ready. Now, I think he's, he's using the wrong terminology here. When you say you're six, you're talking about your back. Right, so I, I think what he really means is a, a six shooter. I, I, I think that's what he's saying. Okay, so a little girl comes to his door, and this this big, strong, manly, macho. You know, the Mary Marjorie Taylor Greene's always talking about you know, men being men, and who was the other one? Uh, Cawthorn, uh, huh. Cawth the, the other one. You know, grow up to be monsters and all that. These these strong conservative men, and they are they're terrified. They're terrified every time their doorbell rings. So he talks about this little girl coming to his and ringing his doorbell and how he had a, he was ready. He, he was, he was ready. So people freak out. And then he, he doesn't back down. He actually doubles down and he says, I'm not effing around. Then he talks about their interaction a little more and it just gets way worse. He actually says, he, he, he says next day, somebody might come to my door tomorrow and I'll pull their hair. The way if you read the story, I think he, he, he said the little girl started to cry. He actually he said, what if I pulled your hair? And you, should, you know, he lectured her about ringing the door, but this is a little girl looking for her lost cat, okay? And he, she goes away crying, and he says he did, you know, and then he sums it up by saying he did her a favor. Uh, nice, he, she met a nice grumpy old man, but it's a learning lesson. Not to ring doorbells. This isn't. This isn't 1972. He says. Oh man, I get so angry when I read this, and it confirms my belief. I don't know what makes conservative men. I, I tr I'm a. I'm a big movie buff, and I truly believe that these pe these people have taken movies too much to heart. They're living in so much fear of like the purge. I never saw the purge, the movie, but I, I think it's you know you see these movies where you know. Families are hunted down, or, or you know, they're, they're these terror stories, or somebody on the road gets hunted down, or gangs of, of marauding rioters, or whatever. And these 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 people are so terrified, not only of women, but of just anybody coming to their front door. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about this a little more. 
Like I, I usually, the first thing that came to mind is something that happened to me and I'm going to compare it for those of you, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use empathy here. First of all, to using empathy, I'm thinking about this because he, 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 he paints this like he's doing the little girl, girl a favor. Like he's doing it for, to keep the little girl safe. That's the way he paints this whole thing, you know? And uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the little girl. If it did have something to do with the little girl, he would have, he would have talked to her in a, in a, he, or her parents and said, you know, or he would have brought her back to her parents and said, you know, maybe, you know, I've heard that these stories happening in the neighborhood, you know, she maybe, you know, I worry about her being by herself, you know, something considerate and compassionate and not threatening to pull the little girl's hair and, and off her because she rang your doorbell. This is one of the guys that are talking about the stand your ground laws against a little girl looking for a lost cat. Uh, you know, I... I can't even wrap my head around this. All right, so I'm going to compare this. The first thing that came to mind, like I said, I'm going to compare this to something that happened to me, and, and there's some irony in this. I, I told you guys, I lived at Black Rock State Park. My father was the park ranger, and this is while he was still alive. He died in 1975, so this was about 1973 or 74. I was riding my bike at the park. They let me go down about a half mile to the park from the, the ranger's house where we lived, and my dad was always around the park. And I had friends that camped there. Like, I lived in the park because my dad was the ranger. But I, you know, my friends would camp there for two weeks here, two weeks there. And I'd, I'd have my buddies that I'd ride on the, around the park with. And my father warned me. He warned me ahead of time of things that happened to kids in the park. Like, I remember that he worried. I heard this story about how a man was arrested. They found Polaroids in his tent at the park. This is way back in the late 60s, early 70s when I was real young. And my father warned me, you know, be care don't go around strangers, the whole thing. So I'm riding around the park, the beach. This is Black Rock State Park in Watertown, Connecticut. And uh, I'm with my buddy. I'm probably, uh, my father died when I was nine, so I was probably about, probably about eight years old. Riding on the beach by myself, because my father trusted me. He warned me, he taught me how to handle guns, he taught me how to, you know, what to do. And we're, we're doing loops on the beach in the parking lot. And there's a ramp and we're, we're jumping on it. And there's picnic tables too. And we'd go back around and get some speed and go over the ramp. And every time we went back to get speed, there was a picnic table there. And there was an old man sitting at it. Old man, you know, to me at that age, who knows? It could have been in his, could have been his 40s, 50s. I, I, don't, I don't remember. And he was sitting at the picnic table. And there was a magazine on the table in front of him. And we were looping around to go back to the to jump, me and my friend. And we caught a glimpse of the magazine and there was naked women in it and so we kept every time we went around we tried to get a peek you know we're little, we're little boys we're trying to get a peek in the magazine and he knows this you know looking back he knew this and we get closer and closer trying to see the magazine and he calls us over and i i don't i remember i didn't get too close at all and he's and this is what he said you know you like this he, you know you see yeah i remember him asking you know, do you like what you see or something like that and this is what he said. This is an honest to God. I swear in the Bible, this is a true story. He says, I, I'll give you, I don't know if he said $10 or $20. If you, if we, I'll t I could take you in these bushes and do this to you. And it was a woman uh, pleasuring a man. And he offered me and my friend, my eight-year-old friend, I, I can't remember. I think it was probably $10 uh, to go in the bushes. You know, and the first thing that, this is kind of crazy, but the first thing that popped in my, I still remember this. What am I going to do with $10 at eight years old? Like my parents, what, you know, how, where am I going to tell my parents I got 10 You know, that's, that's, I'm kind of embarrassed that that was the first thing that popped in my head, but it was. I still remember the image of burying a $10 bill out in the yard, trying to hide it, you know, because I wouldn't know what to do with the $10 bill at eight years old. This was about 1972, 73, 73 or 74. Back when this guy said the world, you know, like the world was so safe back then in the, in back, you know, making America great again, back in the old days when everything was perfect. No, it wasn't so perfect. So the first thing then I, 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 I got on my bike while well, I was still on my bike and I, I took off. I went home and I told my parents, okay, uh, my father disappeared for a few days later, much later in my teens, I found out he went back and, uh, he taught the guy some some lessons and he had he my father ended up going to get locked up for a few days for for messing this guy up 
Um, and I'm proud of him for that. Um, here's, here's the ironic part, though. You know, I did the right thing. My father, you know, he taught me right. And nothing happened that day. My friend stayed there. You know, I, I took off right away. And my friend stayed there. And I, I, to this day, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I, when my father went back. Because my father's gone now. I can't even ask him. I don't know if, if my friend was still there. If maybe they were in the middle of something. If my friend took off. I have no idea. I've never saw my friend again. Here's the, here's the ironic part. After my father died... My mother, I've talked about this in other videos, my mother started dating a town cop from Watertown. A trusted, good old Irish cop, you know, with lots of gun collection in his house, you know, and he started molesting me. And he molested me from the time I was, I think, 10 or 11 to the time I was over past 14, almost 15 years old. I've talked about this in other videos. So it turns out it wasn't somebody knocking on my door. You know, it wasn't somebody ringing my doorbell. Was not immigrants, you know, it wasn't even ex-cons or people of color or anybody like that. It was a trusted family friend, an Irish, good old Irish cop. Uh, heroic, this guy won, I've talked about this before, he, he won, actually won ribbons or awards of valor in the police department. And he's the one that molested me for five or six years. So you go back in my videos and you'll, you'll find all this, me talking about this. So yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I got so angry when I read this this morning. And the, 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 the part that made me the angriest is this, this is a little girl looking for a lost cat. And he, he actually, he doesn't even see what he's saying. And he doubles down on the whole thing, trying to, to defend his, his stance. So links will all be down below. You guys have a good Wednesday.